Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Springdale Summerlin 2720BH. This is a great bunk model floor plan. You don't have the added length of having a separate bunk house, but it still gives you some excellent separation from the bunks to the rest of the coach. So let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. And the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is the power tongue jack. This really simplifies the process of hooking up and disconnecting the trailer from the tow vehicle. All you have to do is touch a button and it will raise and lower your tongue. Also right here you do have a light, so if you do need to uh, access that at night, you can see what you're doing. Behind that's a propane tank cover to hide those unsightly propane tanks. Very easy to get into. You have a couple thumb screws, undo those, lift the door, and that will give you access to your two 20 pound tanks. Then as we go back a little bit further, you can see you have rails for the battery box right there. And then coming up the front is the diamond plating. Uh, this of course helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch up your front end there. Come around to the side, we'll take a look at the pass through storage. If you take a peek right in there, you will see how open it is in here, nice and finished off, uh, but very wide door. So if you do have larger items like zero gravity chairs or grills, you can go ahead and still fit those in there. Then uh, what if you do notice right here, you have power stabilizing jacks both on the front and on the back, which makes it really easy. And even one step easier, this actually comes with the Camp Easy package, which has a remote. So you can use a remote control to uh, operate things such as your stabilizing jacks, the awnings, as well as a slide and the light on your awning as well. So very cool. Speaking of the awning, you can take a look right there. Large power awning which covers both entrances of this coach. Just touch the button that rolls out, same thing to roll back in. Of course, you have physical buttons inside as well as the remote. Either way, it will function. Also, you'll see your LED light strip there, so that way you don't have to get up and hang up any kind of Christmas lights. Getting into the coach is very simple. You have three steps right here. You can see the first one there is low to the ground, so if you have bad knees, it's not a, a, any kind of issue getting into the coach. Also right here is an electrical outlet. So if you have anything else you want to plug in, electric griddle, something like that, you can easily do so. If you take a look underneath, behind the tires there, you will see a little yellow plate. Um, that's really cool too. That's the correct track alignment system. What that does is uh, helps realign your axles. It's actually proven over time that your axles will become misaligned. Instead of having to cut and re-weld with these, we can just make a couple of quick adjustments and get them lined back up for you. Underneath the power awning and LED light strip, you will see some outside speakers right there. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside, however they are Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here and listen to music, you can simply use your smartphone or tablet, connect to that via Bluetooth, and be able to control it from right outside here. Second entrance into the coach is right back here. Again, you have three steps, making it nice and easy to get on in. Come around to the back side with me real quick. Couple neat things. One, right here is your spare tire. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's nice knowing you have it right there. Lastly, as we open this guy up, you can see excellent storage right in there. This is underneath the rear bunk, so huge storage there. So you have the big pass-through up front, you have this one right here, lots of outside storage on this coach. On the off-door side here, you will notice an outdoor shower as well that has both hot and cold access. So if you need to wash your feet, wash the dog, or have any other need for it, right there it is. All right, folks, it's going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Springdale Summerlin 2720BH. This particular model is in the coffee interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the kitchen. One of the things you'll notice is you do have decent sized countertop here, and you also have good storage underneath. So let's take a look right over here. You can open that up, see big storage compartment right there, as well as two full extension drawers here. So good additional storage on that side of the countertop. Then as we make our way over here a little bit, we'll open this up. You can see you have a good cutout there, which is perfect for trash can. Cut out right above here, you have a cubby hole there. And then an additional pull, uh, full extension drawer there, which is perfect for your silverware. Large single bowl sink. Uh, I personally actually like single bowls because it does allow you to fit bigger pots and pans down in here. Now if you do want like a, a second bowl type setup, you can get like a plastic bin or something from the dollar store, put it in there, use that as a rinse basin. Uh, that way, you, again, you kind of get that same feel, but I personally like having the single bowl sink. Pull out faucet here as well, which helps in uh, doing dishes, especially when it is a high rise faucet like this one is. 
large window here lets in a lot of natural light during the day, LED lights here at night. You actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach, which that's a big benefit as well. They don't put out near the heat and they use a fraction of the power. Uh, big advantage of that is of course if you don't have shore hookup, your battery will last longer, or if you're at a seasonal where you do have to pay electric, again you will have smaller electric bills. You'll see two electrical outlets there as well, so if you need to plug in toaster, coffee maker, or anything like that, you can certainly do so. Then if we move up top, you will see, uh, I do like the brush nickel pulls they use on here. They have a good look to them, you know, nice and substantial. They don't feel cheap. You have good storage right up there too, which is great. Stainless steel microwave right here. Uh, this is a fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Three burner Atwood cooktop, the front one is high output. And then right there you will see your oven for baking. Rounding out the kitchen is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. Go ahead and open that up for you. You can see the space in there. Six cubic foot, so plenty of space. You do have a cutout there as well for any taller items like a half gallon of milk or two liter of soda. Uh, this also uh, runs off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. We, we come to the back, this kind of enters into the bunk area. So it's kind of cool the way they set this up. Right over here, you have a large closet, which is great. Uh, so you know, if you want to put the kids clothes in here, you can do that. If you want to use it for linen closet, you can do that as well. Just a lot of versatility in this space. This is the second entrance I showed you when we were outside. And then right back here, we enter into the bunks. Now, a couple things. One, you will notice you do have great hanging space there for the clothes. And then excellent shelving going up and down as well. Also, if you want a TV in the back, you'll see right here they did put a sticker so you know where to mount that TV, hookups here up top, then you have an additional outlet right there down below. Then here are the two bunks, they are double wide bunks which is great, so if you do want two kids per bunk you can do that, you have space, lights both top and bottom as well as windows and separate privacy curtains so they can close those off. Also back here is the bathroom. If you take a look, right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room there. Uh, this is our tub shower, which is real nice if you have little ones, because you can still give them a bath. Then of course you have a vent there up top. And then right over here is a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Down below is the sink top and vanity. You can see you have a cutout there, the storage, and then an extra uh, plug-in. All right, why don't we come right out here? A couple quick things I wanna show you. One is this space right here. This is really neat. So as I open this up, you can see extra storage right here. So you know they're just really fully utilizing the space. My opinion, this makes a great pantry area, but whatever you need to put in there, you can certainly do that. And then you have a big slide out here with a huge U dinette. This is great. It gives you lots of room for the whole family to sit around. You'll see it's a large table as well. So you do have room for everyone's plates or if you want to play a board game, build a puzzle, you can do that as well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is the coffee interior. I think it is a very nice interior color. Uh, the other cool thing about this dinette is it does drop down into a bed. So if you do need additional sleeping space, just take out those legs, the bed drops down, put the cushions on top of it, and then you can easily sleep to adults there. Also, windows all around the dinette let in a ton of natural light, and again, LED light right up here up top. Then as we move over a little bit, this of course is the entertainment center. So if you, uh, you know, it's a rainy day and you wanna watch TV, you can go ahead and have that right there. This is the multimedia center that I mentioned when we were outside. Controls your speakers both in here and outside as well. Then if you move up top, you'll see additional storage right there. And you also have storage right here down below. Let's go ahead and take a step up into the bedroom. So the bedroom, the 2720, is pretty neat as well. Uh, one of the things I like that they've done is if you look on both sides of the bed, your wardrobes don't go all the way down. So what it happens is it creates a very large shelf space. I personally really enjoy this. Um, you know, if you have a drink of water, something you want to put there, you can do that. If you have a CPAP machine, you can put that on either side of the bed because you have plugins on both sides. You need to charge a cell phone. Maybe if you even have a small pet, a cat or dog that comes with you, you have enough space they can sleep right next to you as well. And then also on this this side over here, it actually gives you a clothes hamper. So your dirty clothes, you can put a laundry basket right down there and just go ahead and toss them right in. Uh, if I do open the wardrobes up, you'll see here you do have additional hang space, rod going all the way across the top. Nice big shelf up top here too. And again, you have LED reading light here in the bedroom. 
All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Springdale Summerlin 2720BH. This one is in the coffee interior. If you're looking for a bunk model but don't want the huge bunk house, this is a great option. It still gives you some separation from the main living area into the bunks. They get a TV in the back in the bunks if you wanna have one installed back there, two entrances into this coach. This really is one you wanna come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe so you can make sure you see all the future content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.